Hello, my name's Leslie Atherton and this is my short story called Ian Held the Knife. Ian held the knife in his left hand and the two slices of thin wholemeal bread in his right. He looked from one to the other, the matte velvet comfort of the food, soft and yielding under the exploratory presses of his fingertips, surprised him, offering more pleasure than the stiff and shining surface of the knife. He allowed it to spin a little on the axis of his fingertips, smooth, clean and inflexible. If you were to take away the curves and the porcelain handle, you could almost perform an operation. It was that sharp. That knife had the capacity to do its holder's bidding. Might it pair just a little too much here or there? Might it turn a man from a loving father to a problem in need of solution? A shell of a man requiring round-the-clock care and constant worry? Alternatively, the knife that currently dangled between his fingers might simply slice the cheese, spread the butter, pierce the surface of the newly opened mayonnaise and cut the bread. Perhaps that was why Ian no longer enjoyed the creation of food as he once had. It was basic and indelicate. Decisions did not hang in the balance when creating mackerel a la grec with stuffed vine leaves or a cheese sandwich. Ian had been standing in the same position for a few minutes when he became aware of the radio and the report that had stilled and quieted him. Alzheimer's, dementia, how smell stimulation could offer hope to sufferers by protecting brain cells. His mother had been a younger and more vibrant woman then, suffused with the scent of lily of the valley and the vague aroma of plasticine models presented to her by loving grandchildren. He could still see her semi-smiling face as she'd prepare his garlic sausage sandwiches for college and as she screwed up her nose at their pungency. Her loss cut him deep and Ian wept, dripping salty tears onto what had begun as his lunch.